What's going on guys and welcome back to Medieval Engineers. Uh, now, what we will be doing today is making a catapult. As you've seen, I made one right over here. And I'm going to show you how to make it. It's kind of like a tutorial, but I'm just kind of showing you guys because there's not a lot out there that shows you guys how to make a catapult. So, let's get started, shall we? Hmm? Um, let's... Here we go. So, first things first, right? Um, I can't really build here. Gosh. I'm going to build it right here. You want to make a frame. This is real basic. I'm not going to put wheels on it because that's just real janky. But this is the basic frame. So, you want to go... Hold on. Still getting used to these controls, guys. Bear with me. What the hell? So you want to go 12, that's 10, 11, ah, hold on, we go 12 wide, alright, now you can make this stronger, I recommend reinforcing everything because for whatever reason it seems to break, let's go out a little bit. Uh, up there. Screw it. It's fine. Out to there. Actually, let's make this a bit, a bit longer. Why not? Right. All right. So this is going to be your basic kind of structure and you can make this longer like I mean I probably should I just don't really want to mess with it too much the building in this game right now is really finicky so because everyone has to be careful alright we're going to raise this up a little bit and these are just regular blocks you can make them as big or as small as you want them so the reason you do 12 is because when you put the spring down you want it to be that big, so come on, there we go. And it's not facing the right way. Come on. There we go. Let's just gotta shift it. And place. Alright, that's facing. You want this pointing at the target you're gonna hit. Okay. Now we're going to build this part here, go back to our blocks, and we're going to go up to, up to, alright, then we're going to place a, uh, what is it called, let me see what it's called, hold on, um, a catch block, you don't want the lock catch block, you just want the catch block, you can use the lock in different builds, I believe, just this one, you can't. So, there you go. Then you go back to the lumber again. And you can make it stronger, of course. Because you want to reinforce everything. There we go. Alright, now we're going to place two and two in here. And we want it right in the middle. Two... Two, and we'll do three. I think it's three. Then you want to place the spin wheel. Rotate it. Yep, and it fits into place. Alright, now you want to build this. And I usually go ten out. So we have two on there. There we go. Let's get fly mode on. Then you want to grab the spoon. And you want to touch it? What? There we go. <laughs> I can't want a spoon, but it's just kind of whatever. Um, alright, so you got the basic mechanism down, right? Now, I'm oh, sorry I have the sniffles, guys. I'm a little sick. Now you want to make it a block stopper kind of thing, because you want to stop it after you build it, right? You don't want it just flying over the place all willy-nilly. Just doing whatever it wants. 
This is a Cartman on the Mori show. This is our sweet blocks. Come on. There we go. And again, reinforcing everything. Never a bad thing. Boom. Alright. So we wanted to stop. One, two, one, two. I'm gonna go three up. Uh, no, four up. Come on. There we go. And just drag it across. You just want to drag it across so then it won't fly forward. So we can go one more. Okay, that's not where I want to put it, but that's cool anyways. And again, I would reinforce it, because shit tends to break very easily in this game. There we go. So this is our basic catapult. Um, now you can save this by control, um, control C, and then add the blueprints, and you can recreate it and all that stuff. I'm not going into that detail, because it's just not my deal. But... It is a good idea if you plan on, if you're playing like a PvP server or something like that, it's a very, very good thing to do. Alright, then you put... Okay, that's not... That's not what I want. There we go. What is this called? Let me tell you what this is called, because I don't remember. This is called... A... Rope Ending. Hmm. <laughs> Who would have thunk? And then you have to have your turn wheels. Okay, so you hit seven, and you're gonna take this out one block. Boom. Boom. And this is on the actual um, stupid catch block. Okay. Then you're gonna attach your turn wheels. Boom. And. Boom. Alright, now how do you attach the rope? Well, it's very simple. You come over here, you hit T, then you come over here, and you hit T. There we go. Now the rope is secure. Now the way you turn is you hit T, right? And if it's not going the way you want, you need to hold shift and then hit T. So, this is not going as far back as I want it. Alright, well, we'll see if we can place it. So, you want to make sure you have this large projector on the first page. Not the, um, not during the, the tactics, but, or the tools, character tools, tactics, what am I talking about? But this one on the first page says all blocks. Place it on your hotbar. Hit 8. Now, you can't really place it in there, because you have to hit J first. Now you can place it. And, of course, that's just going to roll off. Let's see if we can get it in there. And it's just gonna roll off. That one's gonna roll off too. Crap. Alright, hold on. We're gonna have to fire this really quick. To fire, you press T. See how it fires? Just dandy like. And we are going to get rid of this spoon. And we're gonna add a couple more blocks. And then, we'll add another spoon, just like that. We're gonna take this away, add another anchor, right up here. Then we're gonna press T, T, and let's see if we can get this to work. I was having a problem earlier where I just couldn't get it to roll back. All right, go back for far enough to where, see? I don't think you can place it. Uh, let's try it. Uh, maybe. Remember to press J down here. No, it's still not going back further enough. I 
It's just rolling off. Come on, this seems like a pain to place. Uh, okay, come on. No. Oh. Come on. Oh, I almost had you. They're just breaking down below. There we go. Got it. All right. It does take a little bit of finessing to get everything in place just because this game's, you know, it's alpha. It's what it is. Alright. Now we're gonna fire it. Fire it, press T. And there we go. Check that out. Alright, to load it back up. Hit T. And then you hit T again. Oh yeah. Ooh, I cock back even further now. Ooh. Alright. Let's place another ball in here. Remember to hit J. There we go. Yeah. Go to our hand. And I'll actually we'll go up so we can see the ball fly. Boom. Oh, dude, look at the destruction. <laughs> it actually didn't do that much damage. What the hell? But you can see how this is really cool, and it'll fire just multiple um, projectiles. And this is so that it doesn't break. If you take a lot of this stuff out, it will sometimes break. Like I said, stuff is really finicky for the time being. Obviously, they're going to fix it. Um, but it is really finicky. I'm just trying to show you guys the stuff so that when it does come out on, on Steam and Access, if the survival stuff is in, then you guys will know. Um, like I said, I don't know when they're releasing the survival. I was hoping for Steam Early Access, but I don't know if it will. I haven't really done the boards either, so that's another thing. Man, this stuff is a pain. But, um... Survival obviously will survival mode will change this game quite a lot. Let me fire this one more time. Flying mode on. That's as far as I can get. T. Boom. Check that out. And let me show you guys how to select all of it. Control V. That brings me into third person mode. Which I don't like. It, look, it looks weird. I think it's control. Control B brings up. Oh, yeah. See, I saved the platform. And then you can go to. Create. Let's just say. Uh, we want to. Paste it now. Go control V, and you can paste it. So, so if we want to paste it here, there we go. No. Well, I want you want to paste. There we go. So now we can have multiples, and you can literally do it as many times as you want because you've already made it. You can also submit to the workshop if you'd like. Boom! And now we're ready to take siege on this castle I don't know why I just bounced so far but I did <laughs> holy crap <laughs> that was insane all right let's fire a couple more T T T I hope there's a like a faster way to reload but of course I mean that's kind of how it was in the meetable times it wasn't It wasn't super fast, you know what I mean? Ooh, there's a little glitch there. That's as far as it'll go. 
How come that one will go all the way down, but these won't? Let me show from the other side. Oh well. Nope. But that one will go super far down. Again, guys. It's glitchy, it's early access. But it's a fun early access, that's for sure. Boom, first time. This one's gonna be first time to you. Ooh, almost lost it. Ooh, I'm getting good at reloading this stuff, man. Alright, so fire in the hole. Boom, didn't really do much damage. This one's supposed to go far. Alright, well, I cleared the castle. <laughs> oh. Ooh, just took a chunk off of it. You can go like the regular projectiles that you just throw. And you can't throw it very far unless you hold. Unless you hold uh, left mouse button. And you can see the structural integrity start to just go. This game is really awesome. I'm having a blast. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully showed you how to kind of make this. Now the way you would add wheels is just like this. Let's get back over. So what you're going to want to do is catch block. Uh, let's actually add two more down here. Stop flying for a second. So let's add two more down here. Come on. Why don't... Catch block? Or not catch block, but uh... You know what I mean. Why... Why won't it let me add you? Hold on. Let's see here. No, it won't let me... Hmm. It's not too wide. Come on. Who wants to add it on this side? Uh. Hmm. reason it doesn't want to add I don't know why but it'll add it right there it's odd it's very odd All right, let's just add it there for now screw it again with the catch block in the middle boom for clearance boom with the G key Grab a wheel. And now. And sometimes you do have to rotate them. Boom. And now you have a wheel. That will, it will spin. A little janky. Let me, let me add wheels on this side really quick, I guess. Um. Oh, Chinky. Oh, man. Alright, come on, middle. There we go. Boom. See if we can get this to work. This, these are really kind of. Look at that one. That one's like cocked to the side. This is already broken, but you can start to push it. I think that one's stuck. Hold on. Let's add it. <laughs> Alright. So 
So let's add this again. Boom. Make sure these are correct. Wait, wait. It went one off of that, but doesn't want to work on this side. Ah, oh, man, I'll figure out the wheels later. This thing is really not working very well. I know you can add them. I have, but for some reason they don't want to work with me right now. But you can add wheels. They're super janky and they don't really work half the time, so I don't really suggest it. But if you're a basic catapult, this is how you make it. And um, it works pretty well. I mean, obviously, it's better just to do this, right? Uh, and just blow shit up. But I'm sure they'll have this disabled on PvP servers. Whenever they come around to them. Again, this game is early access, guys. Like, super early. Um. It's in the stage where you only have creative mode. So, it's not like you have survival at all. You you don't have that yet. But it's still really fun to play. Um, it is a game that I do recommend that you pick up. I do say that you wait for survival mode. Um, because... Otherwise, I think you'll get very bored. I think it might leave like a... A better taste in your mouth kind of thing, you know what I mean? Because you're just getting so bored, like, oh, I don't want to play it. And then you're going to burn yourself out on it, and then when they do add survival mode, you're going to be like, oh, I don't, I'm, just, I'm already burnt out. Like, I have to, you know, I have to gather and to build all this stuff. I can, you know, in creative mode, I can build all this stuff, um, you know, for nothing. Why, why would I play in survival mode? I mean, I don't know. Do what you wish, but... I recommend not buying this game until the survival mode is added. Now, I don't know if it will be added on Steam or Access. Again, I haven't really looked um, into it too much. But from what I understand, it's not from people I've talked to. Which is fine. Um, it's a brand new game, brand new title, and, and they've done amazing work with this game. They really have. But it's still early enough that it doesn't have survival mode. Um, it is a playable game, so I think it's like the first stage alpha, whatever you want to call it. But there's not survival mode, it's just creative mode. So, eh. I bought it just to show you guys and to teach you guys kind of how to make these catapults and stuff like that. Um, and just kind of show you the base impressions of the game. But, otherwise, I wouldn't have bought it till survival mode was added. And, you know, I can't wait till it's added because it's going to add a whole other layer of depth to this game. But I mean, this, the structural integrity and stuff is awesome, and the warfare that's about to, that's going to happen on you know once they get everything up and they have PvP servers and like that is going to be it's going to be pretty awesome because it's not going to be like you know just shooting guns at people. It's going to be I'm going to break down your home. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. Either way, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you got some decent information on how to make a basic catapult. Um, if you liked the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, let me know why. And uh, if you have any other questions, post them in the comments, man. I'll answer them. I talk to everybody. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.